Okay, so there's a few different ways you can kind of get a couple of likes out of McCready. We're going to do one now. Hey. Now this is pretty easy. It just involves a conversation. And after this, we're going to go back and try and find that other fish packery deal. Yeah, well, you haven't seen me on some days. Hotel Rexford. Entering the Hotel Rexford. And this is kind of a useful thing. Hip, hey, beer bot's still going. That's good. Whoa, it's you. Yep, still me. Let's go up here. Let's see now. Whoa, here he is. Hey. What? No. It can't. It, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Let's see. No. Apologize. What about ghouls? I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Okay, let's go see. Let's try to go in yellow. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? That was what we okay. wanted. Hey, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'm there all the time. I'll see you there. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. D d d I'm tempted to just see the sarcastic line here. Let's just see what it sounds like. You know, he's reload. I don't know. I haven't really noticed. Oh, come on. You got skills. I'm sure you know talent when you see it. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides... I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but 
Having adults around was something we couldn't trust. So many different ways to go here. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own way. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. Pretty brave. A bunch of kids living alone like that. I don't know. Looking back on the whole thing, I think we were just lucky. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. I'm not going to flirt now. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, you've earned it. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Okay, so we're, we, we're leveling up here. That's going well. We're going to head on back downstairs. First of all, is there anything in this guy's room that's cool? Well, that's only a double bed. Ooh, ooh, well, let's see. We could steal stuff from the vault tech grip, and that will uh, earn likes. Well, at least one. Cigarette carton, a beer bottle, a plant. Watch this. I'm guessing that reminds you of the old days. <laughs> McCree like that. <sighs> Do a save. Load. You know, you're saying, why save load? Well, this kills the, uh, the cooldown. So now, you steal that and you didn't see it. <sighs> I don't even want a bunch of cigarettes. <sighs> He's not, uh Fine, all right, let's go and do some fish stuff. Oh, can you fast travel from here? Yeah, it might be that, you know, in the old games you had to be outside. What the heck is... What am I looking for here? Yeah, Hub City Auto Records is closer, but this might be the, the better walk. Ah, the fish farm's right here. Yeah, let's go this way. Ah, okay, this is still the old way. You can't do it from inside. I just clean up. Great. Just keep cleaning up there. That's fine. Yeah, supposedly that's supposed to uh, clear the cooldown. Maybe it doesn't now. Maybe they patched it. I don't know. Patches. Or he's just not close enough. Not paying attention. So now we go. This is where we're going. The Long Neck Lukowski Scannery. And what I'm hoping to get here is a couple things. First of all, some likes you're supposed to be able to milk because you can steal a bunch of stuff. And uh, you can get uh, supposedly a trader here that I'm going to send to Sanctuary. 
not Sanctuary, where we want to send them to, to Spectacle Island, so I could get a you know, trader set up there, and the level 4 trader, which I guess gives you more stuff. The robot would bench allows for the construction of a wider range of robot. Yeah. Until you run out of aluminum. Hopefully we get a bunch of aluminum here at the, uh, whatchamacallit. Of course, while we're doing all this, you know, all the, the scrappers are working hard here. And I've, I've taken to emptying out uh, places where I have a lot of scrapping stations periodically. Apparently there's a limit now. You can you hit to, uh, you get to like a hundred and something items and then they stop making stuff. So I take it all and I dump it all off at uh, the Red Rocket where I've got nothing going on. Still going to build up the Red Rocket. Be a nothing going on kind of place. If you want to stay alive, we need to make for some cover. Yeah, he's um, he's not all about the whole. Okay, so we want to go this way. I expect something to jump out of me here at some point. That's probably it. Yeah. Wouldn't have got bit if I hadn't just... Mongrel meat. Clickety, clackety. Snick, snick. You travel a little faster. Sentry bot, talk. What the? Where's a sentry bot? You see a sentry bot? Uh, what the hell was that? Long neck Lukowski's cannery. Now, this is the right cannery. Let's see how it goes. This should be get a mission kind of thing. Or am I going to get, like, eaten by ghouls? I don't know. Or if I walked into the wrong cannery again. I mean, you know, you never know with these things. Walking into the wrong cannery is still going to smell bad. You can't only take ten cans. You know, it tastes better than that old... Ram or ramen that's been sitting out in the sun for days. Uh, there, there are people out there who are hungry. You just gotta sell up the product a bit more. I'm sorry, but ten cans is all I can commit to right now. It was selling like crazy for a while there, but there's been talk about people getting sick. People, people get sick all the time. That, that, that has nothing to do with my Gross. product. Besides, I mean, I'm. I'm only selling the meat you people bring me. If there's something wrong with it, it's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Forget it, the deal's off. You want to sell your product to the people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn self. What? Hey, oh, oh, come on. Fine, leave. You'll be back. Hey there. That's a bitch. This is... She's my goal. The main thing here. You not let her run away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Load, 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 load. Hey, sorry about giving you the brush off in there. He who just gets on my last nerve, you know what I mean? What was that in there about people getting sick? Theo got that old cannery up and running about a year or so back and convinced me and some of the other traders to start bringing his cans around. It was all good and well for a while, but in the past couple months I've had people complain about getting sick after eating it. Don't get me wrong, not like people dying or anything, just, I don't know, the sales have slumped off and Theo's gotten more uppity. Anyway, enough about Theo. I'm sure I have something you're looking for. You should have a look. 
Where did you get that vault suit? Hmm. Never been to 81, I take it? I grew up there, but left to be a traitor. Here, let me show you where it is. Nice pip boy, by the way. Mine was a piece of junk. Threw it out years ago. So, can I interest you in a trade? Let's do the work for me. Well, let's say yes. Or do we want to trade with her? Or... Let's do the work do for me. you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. Yes, we just get to do it. I'm confused. Care to see what I've got for sale? Let's sure. say yes. Let me see what I've got. Okay, let's see. Weapons, junk. We'll invest in her. That might help. How's this? Hi. Got any scab to sell? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. You've got yourself a deal. He has to be invested in it. I don't know. That was weird. So, that should work. Now, we'll go to Long Neck Lukowski's. I have another idea for Spectacle Island, by the way. A zoo. But it's gonna require me getting that beta wave thing going, so... Let's talk to Long Neck here. Theodore Collins. <clears throat> ah, you're back! Seven out of ten people prefer our Long Neck Lakowski's canned meat over even fresh brownie. Looking to try it for yourself? You don't say anything? There's a not say anything? Might be. Let's see what you've got. Have a look. But if you bite it, you bought it. <laughs> okay, well, we can invest in him. We'll throw just. No. Well, let's see. Do I have to. Uh... Excuse me. Couldn't stay away, huh? Are you interested in buying some of Long Neck Lakowski's delicious candy? Hmm. Let me see, sure. Have a look. But if you bite it, you bought it. <laughs> okay, so let's say we there's a, we'll buy one potted meat. I'm trying to think how to get the 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 quest. Inventory aid. That, that was kind of a lot of rats. Gross. People actually ate this stuff. Hey there. Couldn't stay away, huh? We buy old cans and the best meat the Commonwealth has, so we can offer the finest product on the market. Looking to take a few cans home with you? Not interested right now. We'll also buy any cans or meat you've got to sell. For a good price. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to have a look. But yeah, stay out of the old basement. It isn't safe down there. Hey. If it isn't my favorite customer, bet you work up quite an appetite traveling. Wouldn't you like to sate that hunger with a good can of Long Neck Lakowski's? Not interested right now. Tell your friends, Long Neck Lakowski's. It's the best. Okay, they totally told us to stay out of the basement. There's supposed to be something that triggers something where he asks you to do stuff for him. Yes. 
Oh, this is where you can you can hack stuff here because there's stuff to steal and but before you steal stuff aluminum trays okay he's supposed to like that it's not like I don't need aluminum Button, push. What's this? A secret passageway. To a dead guy with Psycho. And squirrel on a stick and some first aid stuffs. And a bunch of straw pillows, which I'm going to leave him there with. And that's all that? Oh, come on! That's a big button. Uh, yeah. What the hell was that? Other side's chained up. Again, there's supposed to be some kind of funky mission here where eventually you end up going down the basement forum. <coughs> oh, damn, dust is going right up my nose. Let's see. Another button. Push that button in a minute. Is there a button up here? For this stuff? There's the hole. Eh, just decorative. You never know. Let's... Okay, come on, McGrady. I don't know why you're not liking what I'm doing. Should be likes here. Alright. Meet you later. <laughs> I guess I'll see you later. Started mystery meat. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to find something in here. Unlock requires terminal. Looks like they're broken, but apparently this place is built on the ruins of an even older cannery. <laughs> How would that work? Ew, spoiled meat and mole rats. Okay, we got ghouls, mole rats. More meat to use. So that says unlock requires terminal. It's not this terminal? Oh, we're not remote door control. There you go. I missed that. Open the door. Oh, barrel ghouls. Oh, 
Have I mentioned that I love this gun? Okay, he's yelling. Tell you, it's, it's an interesting thing. This is the first weapon that at least that I've noticed. I don't want to close the gate, no. Definitely don't want to, well, we want to close the gate when we leave, but... So that's where he needs to put the fence. Okay, let's close this gate now. And head back upstairs. It says we have to confront him. Once again, McCready, you're on your own. Um, where are we trapped here? <laughs> okay, I can't go back upstairs. I have to go through that door. This stuff isn't even... So I guess you have to go through everything, blast all the mole rats and the, the feral ghouls, then confront them, and then we'll say, Hey, listen, you're making mole rat meat. Someone still biting at me? That was a tripwire of some nature, but... Chemist station... Yeah. Right away. That's good. That's... This is not the McCready milking uh, kind of thing that I had hoped for here. And he's disappeared. McCready, how am I supposed to milk likes from you if you've disappeared? And the rats down here. What's in through here? Level up! Alright! We know just what we're going to do with that. Pump it up! So now, what's this gun doing? 171 damage with the, with bullets explode on impact, doing 15 air effect each pellet. And the two shot, 111. Hey! 111! There you go. It's, that's almost worth the picture there. That's... Vault 111, the whole nine yards. Mutant Slayer's Pipe Wrench! I have a, a pipe wrench weapon. Alright. I think I should name it the NG's Friend. That's where those are coming in. They're not coming in from there. Whoa! Where's that coming from? Snuck up behind me. It must just keep flowing. So we have an unlimited number of ghouls. We don't want to deal with that. Um, let's see. This is just hot. Back here. Um, how do we get the heck out? That's just radioactivity. That's through there. That doesn't work. No way of doing that. Yeah. We should get the heck out of here. Now. Remote door control. Let's see. Open. Yeah, we can close the door. Alright, well, let's. Yeah, that's the goal, is getting the hell out of here, McCready. Hmm. I 
go through here. Now, there's nothing back there. There's steps here, but that just leads to heat. Nothing to interact with. It's a dead end. What am I missing? We'll cross here. Ah! Turkey! And we're not well, so let's... let's see, how much do we need to take here? Can we get away with one? Yeah, pretty much. For the most part. Stimpy it up. And there should be mole rats, I guess, down here or something. Or more ghouls. Yeah, I'm Aqua Boy. Now that's the interesting thing. Why am I getting the uh the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life? The no, I'm like, should I do the joke? The guts on the ground go round and round, round and round. No, I wanna drink the water. Instigating shish kebab. Ooh, a custom shish kebab. That's nice. I'll take that. Double damage on the first whack. Okay, let's see, we got. <laughs> I love this gun. I, r I really do. Just blown those guys straight to heck. Do we have to go through there? Or is there like a way around up here? First we're going to get soaked, then we're going to get cold. Yeah, yeah. We're that's miserable enough already. We're pretty miserable, I gotta admit. That's the way we came in? That's the way we came... Is that the way we came in? Yeah, that's the way we came in. Well, guess what you're gonna get, my friend. Miserable and cold. That's... Clickety, clackety. Schnick, schnick. Oh, this is bad because some of those places you throw into swim mode. Nothing out this way except. This is like almost like the old Doom levels where we just have a side area just to have, just to hold monsters. That's. Yeah. Anybody still there? Don't drink it. <laughs> toy rocket chip. I like toy rocket chips. Oh, a glowing one. A legendary glowing one. Relock, reload this. Get up there? Yes, we can. A legendary glowing one. Legendary bloated glowing. Mutant Slayer shadowed metal right arm. All right. Flip lighter. The guts on the ground go round and round. Okay, okay. Blew him to smithereenies. I don't think there's anything else down here, right? Oh, that's the way out. Past the glowing one. This is pretty linear. Woo! Scared the shit out of me. McCready, don't do that. Okay. This can't be a happy place, can it? No. 
Clickety clackety. This is like almost. Oh, I, I love this gun. This is really this is the gun you need. If, if, you, if for some reason I'm getting the all clear sound when it's all clear, which is great. I don't know. It, it's off in the distance. I don't know what that glitch is from. But I'm liking it. Working our way back to you, babe. Oh, there's got to be stuff here, don't you think? Which way do we go? To the left? Oh! That's what was making the boop noise. He must have stuffed that up here. So freaking close. Okay, let's... It's a novice lock. There we go. Sweet. Shotgun shells! That's terribly useful. Wait, it's not like I ate the shotgun shells. That's where we came in. Okay. So now we gotta go right. Moving to the right. Moving to the right. A fusion core? Let's see, yeah, there's nothing over here. Let's pull the fusion core. You know, we're gonna have to have a talk along Nick. Yeah. What the hell? Take a burning gas canister. I'm not seeing those. Thing on your wrist be clicking that much? It's, you know what the thing on my wrist is? Come on! Oh, look at this. A makeshift bomb. Come on, I want the fiber optics. I do. I want them. Come on. Okay, so that's where we were. Now we're, we're working our way back up here. Aluminum tray, stuffs, more stuffs, and a stuff with a stuff and the other stuffs. Okay. Don't go down the basement, it's not safe. <sighs> Novice lock. Got it. <laughs> oh, really? So, I think we're gonna end up killing this guy, or... What the hell did... Crady! Oh, he's there, okay. So, I don't know what the hell that was. A so, here we have the, the, the deal here. He's got a dead glowing one that he's obviously been cutting up. A frail roamer. A bone saw. Plasma cartridge. So, he's been putting feral ghoul meat in the darn things. We unchain that. I now we're told you to stay out of the basement. Now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. Safety off. I think we have company. Over well, there, get well, let's see. I know there's a way of actually resolving this peacefully. Let's see, can we get up here? Where can we get to him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's let's rat away ourselves here. And then Stimpy. 
Let's hit again. Across this way. I think if you just confront him. Dude. Um, Theodore. Alright, this is awkward. I'm going to blow your head clean off. You have to have the threaten and pacify thing. Theodore. To get in front of you. Like a... Give up oh, oh! Hey, look, 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 it, it doesn't have to be this way. Look, well, we can uh, run this place together. You look the other way, and I'll give you a cut of the profits. So you can feed people ghoul meat? Hey, ghouls are no different than any other dumb animal. They're an untapped food source. What, what do you say? I mean, we, you help keep this quiet, I run the cannery, we both make a fortune. So you can feed people ghoul meat? Like I said. They're no different than Brahma. What, what do you say? I mean, we, you help keep this quiet. I run the cannery. We both make a fortune. I'll make this quick. Let's try maybe. I'm listening. We go in on it together. I run the cannery. You bring me meat in cans and make sure nobody gets suspicious. What, what do you say? I mean, we, you help keep this quiet. I run the cannery. We both... Make a fortune. I gotta look up what McCready would like here because honestly, you know, it's like I realize that's the cheap way of doing it. My gut, my gut feeling is to shoot the guy. But I'm here for likes. Okay, let's ponder this for a bit, because there's really no guidance for us. What the good, the good, the good guy move is to blow him away, according to you know that that's what Piper would like. The guy's sell, selling a mix of mole meat, mole meat, mole meat and ghoul, which is disgusting. That would be a 200-year-old meat, rotting meat, basically. That's just awful. But is it? More morally wrong to have a guy who's selling people meat that you know, gives them, you know, bowel problems, but doesn't kill them. Or to blow the dude away. I don't know. The interesting thing is you want to go practical here, which McCready might like practical. We can try it. We could do a save and then try both ways, but let's see. That you do pick up a couple of caps every so often when you come back, because he'll give you a cut of the profits. Of course, that would make me a... a a bad meat kind of guy. Uh, do I really want to be in a bad meat business? Well, I'm already the the water business king. Let's just let's do let's try it both ways here. If I say yes, fine, but don't cross me again. Oh man! If we get a McCready That's like this. You are gonna kill me for sure. Woo! Here's your cut. I'll get this place cleaned up and I'll even give you a discount on the meat. You're wasting my time. Yes, McCready love that. So we're gonna go with that. We got a love out of that. And we didn't kill somebody. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Boink. What the hell is... What the hell is shooting? <laughs> is McCready gonna kill him anyway? Where the hell is that... It's a pain in the ass to get back there. It 
Did we just get the best of both worlds? A love out of McGrady and then he just shoots the son of a bitch? Oh, well, first of all, we almost forgot this. Jeepers. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Yes. That's a good one. And here it is, folks. The Barter Bobblehead. Nice. Life is good. Take all that stuff. Where the heck is McCready? Makes you battery. Carry that worthless crap. This shouldn't take long. Where are you doing? Where are you? I'm gonna jump down here. He's still shooting at him. Did he kill him? Where the Where did he go? I just saw him. There it goes, Schmutch. Where the heck did it's up here up here? I gotta know, did he kill him? The guy was just standing there. Hey, did you miss the plan? Where, what the, what happened here? I just wanna see the body. Did, you know, Theodore here run away? What the? I don't know if he killed him or if he didn't. Did you kill him? <laughs> He's a little clumsy. That's a... That's a problem. Let's see... Theater okay, unlock. Lots. Range. Music. Yeah, let's go and use music. No, 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 no. Daily river saved. Foyer opens woman. That's... Foyer opens woman. That's... Wires after cover. Got it. Open door. Oh, a combat shotgun. That's it. Which still leaves. The question Did McCready kill the, the meat guy? I think he did. And I, I certainly don't want to leave him. There he is! This arm of long neck Lakowski's key. Don't know what that buys us. Not much good stuff there, so I made the deal with him and then he kills him. Alright, well. That's the way of the, uh... But what's really hilarious is that he loved my choice to not kill him. And blew him away. It's That's it. I'm okay with it. I wasn't real comfortable leaving him alive, but you know. And now, there's. Let's see, where's McCready? McCready. He tends to wander off. But now we can rob the place, see, here. It's, if he ever shows up. McCready? Nuka-Cola? McCri- Where is that? See, there's a lot of stuff you can steal here. That's to the Commonwealth. So!
Don't, can't you just fall down somewhere? I mean, the threat's gone. Steal all the potted meat. Let's see, if I steal one, do I get him McCready like that? This guy's supposed to like stealing. Where the hell is he? Let's go out and come back in. That might be a little cycle this around. I want to try this method. I want to get him next to me, get him to like me stealing something. Say, reload. Steal, save, reload, steal, save, reload, steal. And then see if it works. It's, uh... Oh, God. Let's go back in. Now, yeah, that's... Which was the plan anyway, but I mean, if there's, especially if there's a rad storm going on. Okay, McCree, we're going to steal some meat. Some really yucky meat. Tins. Mostly tin. Well, we'll steal whatever, and then, you know... Okay, you're right here looking at me. Look, look, look. Steal. Steal. Steal, 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 steal. Some caps. I'm stealing bottle caps for... Do you not see this? The whole point of coming here is because I can milk likes from you because you like it when I steal stuff. Oh, gross. People actually ate this stuff. Whoa! And what the, what happened here? I just. It <sighs> wasn't a, a rad storm outside. Come on, let's. What else can we get? Here. Look, look. Mole rat meat. Stolen. Red stack. Let's look. Let's do anything here. Stolen. Stolen. Red stack, red stack, red stack, mole rat, mole rat, da, da, da. There. This is not working. Alright, we could grab all the pot of meat and sell it, but I mean, it's just... <laughs> There's just so much wrong here. I'm leaving. That's it. Don't worry about the rat storm. We're fast traveling. We're going someplace with a decontamination arch, so that's fine. Well, that's very disappointing. I don't know why the the like mechanic, where if you steal something, McCready likes it. Seems to be maybe after a certain point in the in the quest line, when you get to be close to friends, he doesn't turn them on anymore. I don't know. I I don't know anything here. It's just weird. Did I wait too long to do the potted meat quest? Pretty much all I got left then is uh, doing Minuteman missions and listening to Preston Garvey go. We've got another problem. There's always another problem. I know you just did something, but I'm going to stay here at the castle and just tell you what the problems are and pick beats or whatever he's doing there. Okay, we don't need the gun. We need that. And we'll turn it off. You want to hop through there? You can, you know. I know you're immune to rads, but... Dooby dee doo Now there should be... Do I have to assign her? Is she even here yet? Well, I mean, the time it takes me to fast travel there, you know, it should be the same amount of time it takes her to get...
get here? We. Your emotions appear to be an anomaly in your programming. Perhaps you should have them. She first. shouldn't be hard to find. I have to have already have a level three set up or this unit is currently in unit remaining in factory default mode. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Yep. Not doing anything with you. I thought it was gonna put it into a well pleasure to see you, sir, mode, but how many people are here? Eighteen people, forty for, and I don't see anyone. Are they all working the land? Is she working the land? All of us walking's wearing me out. Out here, you got to take things one day at a time. That's pretty much everywhere. Easy living, this ain't. Easy living, this ain't, huh? Well, the best I can tell you is none of this has turned out the way I'd hoped. At some point, you know, at some point we'll see where the, the woman in blue went to. I could ring the bell. Let's try it. Ding. That is so lame. Well, I'll ding the bell and see if she shows up. Well, I'll tell you what my plans are. I'm thinking of expanding all of this out this way. And then setting up a bunch of cages like we have over here for the fights. But then have each one of them basically cordoned off with uh, the concrete walls with the big open kind of things in them. So that it will be just like our very own zoo. Now, the interesting thing about setting up a zoo, for every animal that I put in the zoo, um, there's going to be stuff attacking the island. So the defenses would get a lot more work. So I have to have to think about it. I have to think about if that's the way I want to go. Hey, look at this. People are actually showing up for assignments. Let's see. Assigned, assigned, assigned. Assigned, 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 assigned. Okay. And I see no sign of the woman in blue. Assigned. Assigned. And the robots are assigned to... I guess she'll get there someday. Now, here's the interesting thing. It says there's 18 people. I got one, two, three. Let's let's do this here. One, two. Let's not count the robots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Half the people showed up. It's a big island. It's a really big island. Anybody else coming? I don't see any more movement. I wonder how long they actually stay there. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Yes. Sure. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? No. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, sir. Boopity boopity. This unit is current unit remaining in factory default mode. This unit is currently unit remaining. Alright, everybody's dispersing. I had my shot. I don't see the woman in blue. Way to get out of this goddamn heat. 
Uh, well, I mean, it's everywhere, apparently. You say that pretty much all the time. This unit is currently in unit remaining in factory default mode. Did we come up out of the water? I mean, what the... Did we drown her? What's the story? I... Um... Everyone's supposed to be able to get there. I mean, that's... <sighs> well, on this note, folks, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. I don't know, maybe she'll show up at some point. <sighs> ah, interesting side note. I was looking stuff up here and talking to Tyler, uh, talking to Trader Riley before theater will cause a dialogue bug that removes the option to ask about people getting sick, and you can still start the quest by going inside the. That's why there was that that dialogue that had nothing in it. It's a bug. So that's what you have to. But to to do to get around it, you do exactly what I do. Just go inside, go down, and then you know do all that kind of thing. Okay, and there's apparently a glitch with Riley. Well, I guess this, they must have been working on this section on a Friday. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to to get her back, because she'll just disappear after all, you know, sometimes. It just apparently happens periodically. Let's say P-R-I-D... Zero zero three E F F three disable enable Move to player. And um, that didn't work. I'm doing it wrong, I guess. That's all it says in the wiki at a time, but it seems like they're assuming a little bit, know a little bit more about console commands. Oh, just do these commands. And if you're not doing it 100% right. Alright, so she's probably just missing. <sighs> That's just ducky. Once again, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run. Yeah, re reload the last save. Maybe she'll show up if I didn't screw with the console commands. I'm thinking not, but... Dang! What are you gonna do?